Chinese Kung Fu has a long history, going back more than a thousand years. But even today, its power still not has been exhausted. The various techniques are still being improved on. In fact, there are very many different fighting skills under the single heading of Chinese Kung Fu. And their practice not only strengthens the body and provides the individual with a controlled system of self-defense, it also serves as an excellent concentration for the mind. And the study of the theory and practice of Kung Fu, harnessed to the individual's own personal requirements, produces a formidable fighting man. Most of the movements in Kung Fu are modeled on various animals. For instance, the tiger, the leopard, the praying mantis, the eagle, the monkey, the crane, and the snake. Of all the various movements, that of the brain and the snake are the most refined and most difficult. If a man can master them, he will be an exceptional fighter. The crane is a very intelligent bird, and its flight is very beautiful as well. Its gentle wing movements lend a deceptive air of peace. It also possesses powerful feet, though in flight these cannot be put to much use. If attacked while in the air, the crane neither fights back with his wings nor his feet, but with his feet. Many a predator has thought twice about attacking after feeling the sharp edge of the crane's beak. When practicing this style of Kung Fu, it is necessary to attack the enemy in the manner of the crane, with his beak. The snake, on the other hand, is one of the fastest creatures there is over the ground. His sense of smell and sight exceptionally acute. Usually a snake will lie still till it sees what is around it. But once it is ready to attack, it will raise its head in order to strike. The snake is basically peaceful. It won't attack unless threatened. It won't chase after the enemy. Someone learning the snake style of Kung Fu has to develop a great capacity for stealth of movement. But in attack, it must be very swift. There are many varieties of Kung Fu. It is impossible to learn them all. But any one of them, or a combination, can transform a man into a powerful fighting machine, the equal of anybody alive. Forgive me, disturbing you like this at so late an hour. Think nothing of it. You are welcome. My house is always open. Buddha's name be praised. I've come because I've something to tell you. Oh, what is that? It all happened 20 years ago. Hong Kong Chan, Tin Yi Fei, and I were sworn blood brothers. We got on well together, and we excelled at Kung Fu. We gave aid to the weak, and were well known among the poor people. But I never guessed that Hong Kong Shan was really a traitor working for the Qin, until he tried to kill Tin and me. To make matters worse, perhaps because I was young, I believed Hung's story about Brother Tin. And I suspected him, too. So I collaborated with Hung. But Tin already knew something was up. And had become wary of Hung. He decided at the last to go off on his own. 
Hong persuaded me that Brother Tin had stolen the snake crane secret for himself and that he worked for the Ching. All right, brother, I didn't cheat you, but he's past saving. We can't show mercy. You can't. Don't hesitate for a moment. Oh, what are you doing? Well, a lot of surprise, brother. I know very well what game you're playing. You? Brother, we're in this thing together now. No matter what you might like, nothing's going to change that. So even you have become rotten. Uh, how dare you say that? You've got no right to. We were blood brothers once. Now hand it over and get out of here. What do you mean? Brother, don't talk to him. Get him. Tim wouldn't come alone, so I brought some help. So he killed Brother Tin, but Hung wasn't satisfied. He wanted more. He wanted to kill the children, too. Brother? Kill a lot of them. They'll only make trouble. Brother, they're children. Don't start acting like a woman. Navy praised. Mister, you have killed too much already. These kids are innocent. If you don't stop, you'll live to regret it. Brother. Forget it. Then it's your turn. So you're the real traitor to the king. It's too late now, even if you do know. I was badly hurt, but I escaped. I intended to go away and never return. But I just can't forget it. I'm sorry for what I did. So did. You cannot really blame yourself. It wasn't your fault that it happened. No. Ben was murdered. And his boys were both rescued by this monk. I've been trying to find them. But up until now, I've no news. If they're both well. What is it you want to do? I have come on a long journey here to ask your instructions on what to do. Buddha's name be praised. 
That monk you mentioned happens to be an old colleague of mine. Oh, and the children? Brother Snake is always traveling. He came here 20 years ago and asked me to take care of the younger boy. I've kept him here with me. I've been teaching him Kung Fu. He's called Erlang. As for the older boy, Snake took him with him. I have no news of them. If Erlang's here with you, I needn't worry about him. Just the older boy. Oh. Thank you very much, but I have to go. Oh, why are you in such a hurry? I will not rest until I found the older boy, the one called Talon. Take good care of yourself. Goodbye and thank you. I didn't realize you were coming to visit us. We are unprepared for it. Is anyone staying here now? Yes, but now they've already left. Nobody's here at present. No one is staying here. Except for the monks. No one else is here. Rabbit, don't play any games. You don't fool me. If someone is here, mm -hmm. you better tell me. Do you understand? Buddha's name be praised. There is no need for these soldiers to be in the temple. There are too many traitors around here. Don't you know that? We've no business with the outside. From what I know, Buddha is so forgiving, isn't he? If you don't believe in Buddha, why do you ask? I want to find out, that's all, whether he is or he isn't. There was someone else here before me. You? Hold it. Behave yourself. Buddha's name be praised. Why have you come here trying to stir up trouble? I'm sorry to intrude, but it's my duty. I'm sure you'll forgive me. Buddha's name be praised. Escort Tien? What now? That's enough. Let's go. guarding the gate this morning. And let them in. You know soldiers are forbidden here. They shouldn't have been let in. <sighs> Where's Erlang? The book. Quickly, go and find Erlang. Yes, sir. Mister, if you ask me, you are in luck. Nothing can be hidden from the sun and the moon. Yeah. 
Then you can tell me how brightly shine the sun and moon. Ah, of course. Uh, if so, I'd be pleased if you gave me the necessary instructions. Mm, good. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We searched all the Champo grounds, but we found nobody. Nor was there any. Nothing there? Nothing at all? Sorry, sir. We failed in our duty. Forgive us. You can't blame yourself. They are too well organized and expert at Kung Fu. From now on, we will act in secret. Yes, of course, sir. sir. You may rise. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Are you aware why you could find nothing? Well, there's a man called Erlang at the temple. Yes, I know. He keeps a secret book. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. I know. I have spies everywhere. <laughs> He's a fool. We'll soon have him. And when you do get that book, I want that book here with me. Yes, yes sir. About 20 years old. The secret book's important. But more important than that is the secret name list. From what I know, everyone's after that book. I must think it's important. I know. But the Ching are even keener to obtain the name list of the Sun and Moon Association. Oh, I see. So that's why they're looking for the book. If the Ching should get their hands on that list, it would be bad for us. There's no time to lose. We must find our lane.
tricky, hard to catch. Oh? If you ask me, we should attack the temple. Huh. But don't you realize the temple's too famous for that? It's very old. Too many people go there. Suppose we go and then find nothing. I didn't think of that. I hear that another person has entered the scene called Han Kui. Yes, sir. I order you to kill him. Sir. For 20 years you have stayed hidden. But now you've come out. But you're not going back. Well, at least I can give you a good send-off.
Hey, what would you like to order? Just tea. Just tea? Uh... What have you put into this tea? <laughs> it's poison. I'm not gonna bother killing you. <laughs> you can tell Hong Kong Shan to meet me. belong to you or to me? <laughs> of course, it's your home. Oh. <laughs> uh, my friend, you've done very well today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Job. Are you interested? Uh, what kind of job? <laughs> Ever heard of the man Hong Kong Shan? Oh. 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 You shouldn't make jokes. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got a plan. Uh, what's your plan? Very good Kung Fu. <laughs> I knew that you were waiting there. That's why I was practicing to let you know. Oh, that's so. I really don't like people creeping up behind me. What about yourself? <laughs> Little friend, easy now. The abbot's been most concerned about your safety. And so, he sent me to look after you. The abbot sent you here? Hmm. 
You see, he feels the while he can't object to you living on your own. He's upset you took the secret Kung Fu book. Yeah, but wants to have it back. So hand it over now. And I'll return it to the temple. Quick! <laughs> now try and fool me. You're lying. If the abbot wants it, he'd come here himself. He'd never send someone in his place. Come now. Who the hell are you? Young fella, you're quite smart. But not smart enough for the likes of me. Hey! Hey! what you had to do. Stayed you back to your old tricks. Yeah, no need to tell me I'm lucky to be alive. I'm at a killer today. Uh, oh. oh. An officer. The chief escort. Uh, Where is he? Uh, uh, I, I ran away from him. No, you didn't. Uh, uh. Hang over my thing. Uh, and you won't forget. Uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> All right. I'll give it to you. But first, you have to let him go. Uh, hmm. Why did you give him a gong fu book? Because if I didn't, you'd be dead. What's that? Uh, you have to be her lad. How could you hand over the book? None of your business. Huh? What do you mean? Huh. You've no right to it. Uh. Huh. No point chasing him. He's got away already. Don't you know he's an officer, the chief escort? Huh. What? Don't you realize what you've done? Hong will get hold of it now. Useless, all of you. Huh. What rubbish is this here? Uh. <laughs> Take a look at it. Now you go and get that book now. If not, let him be an example to you. Sir? Yes, sir. <sighs> Chen Tung's not back yet. Uh, uh, I hope nothing has happened. I'd better wait for a while. on the way here. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. Uh, come right, on, come on. Carry him inside. Uh, 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 uh. Cut 
a trap. Go, uh -huh. quick, take a look. Huh? Huh? Hey, hey.
So you are Hugh Quay. Mm. Well, that's good. I've been looking for you. You're not the person I want. Stop them. Run for it. Thank you for saving my life last night. Are you all right now? Yes, I'm much better, thanks. And you're ready to go? Before I do, there is something I would like to say to you. Uh -huh. The Qing conquered our beloved country. They may be our rulers, but, mister, with your kung fu skill, you should do something to help us against the Qing. For the sake of our country, we must drive the Qing from power. Oh, yes, sir, yes. Uh, everybody leave, please, thank you. Please come another day. Uh, everybody, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Are you Mr. Erlang? I am. I am shouting son. Master Hung knows that you want to see him. So he sent me to fetch you. But before I take you to meet him, will you show me the book? It won't be necessary. What do you mean by that? I'm gonna wait till I meet Hung personally, before I get the book. Hmm. But I am his personal envoy. You can show me the book. It's the same thing. Is it? Hmm. Sure about that? Hmm. Go and tell Mr. Hung to come here. You! Maybe Mr. Hung doesn't want the book. Don't get the wrong idea. 
Mr. Hung doesn't go out often. That is the only reason that I hesitate. If you really want, I will go back and talk to him and tell him to send you an invitation. Oh. <laughs> it's all right by me. Go! <laughs> Once I obtain a name list, then I will go and have an audience with the Emperor. <laughs> He'll be pleased. I'm sure to be greatly rewarded. Congratulations, Master. You always were so smart. You deserve to succeed. King San? Yes, sir. I will meet with Erlang in two days' time. Sir. Like to buy a picture. Mm. A fighting herald. I know. We haven't got one right now. Please come again. Oh, I'll pay a deposit. Thank you. From the information we've got, Erlang is going to deliver the nameless to Hong. So we must act immediately. That's right. We mustn't let Hong get that list no matter what it costs us. I think we should make our move now and not wait. Right. Every minute we waste, the danger increases. Uh, what a stupid fool that young lad is. But, mister, we must do something now. We can't wait any longer. Let's go and talk to him. Maybe I can persuade him not to. You're pretty smart. <laughs> I am. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> We're the Sun and Moon fighters. We know you're in cahoots with the Ching. We've come for a talk. Really? Look here, lad. You better listen to them. Don't be such a fool. <laughs> and who the hell are you? I am your uncle, Hang. How dare you say you're my uncle? My boy, 
I am sorry about your father. I know you must hate me. Huh. That's enough. I'm far too busy. I've no time to talk to you. My boy, listen to me. I know you hate me, but even so, that's no reason for betraying your country. That's right. Aren't all of us here of the same blood? How can you let foreigners stay in possession of our country, making our people slaves? <laughs> I do what I want to do, that's all. I'm warning you. It's none of your business. If any of you dare enter the circle, I'll teach you a good lesson. Hmm. You stupid girl! <laughs> chasing him. But, mister, we can't afford to let him go. I have an obligation to the lad. I must let him have his own way. These are government premises. Go on, get the hell out of here. I don't come here to talk to you. No shouting sign to come out. Hey, you've got a big man. How do you talk to us like that? All right. You let him in? Or are you not? That's enough from you. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Erlang, so you're here. Welcome. <laughs> Quite a reception committee. You stupid fools! If you should offend Master Hung's guest, you'll be punished! <laughs> Won't you please step inside? Please. Hmm. <clears throat> Greetings, 
Greetings, Master Holmes. Get up. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. So you are Erlang. Uh, yes. Hmm, that's good. You bring the book with you? Yes, I have. I told you. It is for Master Hung only. All right. Though I'm not exactly sure why you've agreed, the secret books wanted by many people. Therefore, why do you allow me to have it? Uh, because, Master, I wanted the chance to serve you as an officer, if that's all right. Oh. You will soon find out, if you work for me, that I can be very generous. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm. Nameless? Uh, what nameless is that? What did you say? I thought you wanted the secret Kung Fu book. Let him stay here with us. Sir. Uh, thank you, Master Hong. <laughs> you fool. Chan and Shao to come here. Yes, sir. Reporting, sir. I've read nearly all of it, but it doesn't seem to make any sense. Master. Perhaps the name list isn't in it. Impossible. The Sun and Moon Association want it. List must be here. I suppose you're right. Then it must be in a secret code. Mm. I've always taken you into my confidence. You look at the book and tell me what you think of it. Yes, I will, sir. Kong Liang, you yes, can go thank too. thank you, sir. Pa, I'm far revenge your mother. What do you want? I have something to discuss with you. Hmm. So I've come here to ask you a series of questions. Oh? Look, Erlang, you say you want to work for us because you want to be an officer. Huh, that's right. I think that isn't true. What's the real reason? What do you mean? Hmm. It's quite simple.
You handed the book over to us, but you've omitted to tell us the code. I think you're still playing games with us. You? Hmm? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. This one's called <laughs> Crane Head and Tail. And that's Crane in the Dark. Ever heard of that before? Do you know this one? Huh? It's called the crane goes back to his nest. You lying bastard. Huh? Do you still really want to know the code to read the secret book? Hmm. Hey, hey. We're still friends, so I would hope you aren't angry. All right. We'll try it and see. <laughs> oh, oh. Sir Wang Gudiang. Go and watch them. Right. Any news? No more news yet. Maybe they haven't yet found out where the secret name list is. <sighs> it's all my fault this happened. Because I didn't kill him. Somehow that guy looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen him before.
The debt's impossible. But I'm telling the truth. You two just don't get on together. I've known that for a long time. But you shouldn't do this and try to slander him. But he's... That's enough. The book. Please forgive me. When I was fighting, no. When that stranger attacked me, the book accidentally fell in the water. So, it's Tin Kong Lang. <laughs> well, I'll give you a final order before you fulfill your usefulness. Ting Sam. Yes, sir. You did a good job. Get up now. Thank you, Master. Tengsan, what's the matter? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such an hour. But you see, Master Hung's just got some news. The trainers are meeting tomorrow. He wants you to look into it. Really, does he? Where's the meeting? Chenchu Ruins. Chenchu Ruins? You're a cruel man. What do you mean by that? There's no time to explain now. You're a filthy traitor. A real bastard. <laughs> right you are. I have to be. When others plot against the Qing, it's my duty to do everything in my power to stop them. You're a running dog of the Qing traitors. <laughs> you won't get away from me this time. <laughs> no, will you. I'm going to kill you today. Mission. All right. I'm from the Ching Chan, Kai Shu Han. Good line. Do you still remember me? It's you, Uncle. Uncle, wait until I finish this bastard here off. Then I'll talk to you. No. He's your brother, Erlang. Huh? That's impossible. Don't fool me. 
You connived with that bastard to kill my father. Now you're trying to trick me. But it's true. Before your father died, he bought some jade which he cut into two pieces and gave them to his sons. You have one half, he has the other. It was his wish that you two would always get on well together. too many things left. Where are we going to need your help? No. Uncle Han. He's gone already. Oh, Lan. Don't worry. We'll get our revenge. No! I want it now. I won't wait. I'll go and get those bastards on my own. No, Alain. You have to understand. Your country has to come first, before revenge. It's our family's business. It's not yours. Uh, you... Alain, it's our duty to take revenge. I can't blame you for that. But you need to think it out first. Did you give the nameless to Hong Kong Shan? I did it to get close to him. So I could kill him. I understand. But by doing that, you've also placed the Sun and Moon Association in danger. Shut up! <laughs> All right. Father, why are you helping strangers? Don't be stupid. We're all in this together, aren't we? <laughs> what I find strange, though, is how do you become a chief escort of the chain? I did that to be a spy. For so many years, you must have had plenty of chances to kill him. But I had to be patient. The country comes first. <laughs> That's enough talk. You're just scared of being killed. That's why he didn't dare take your revenge. Alain, you. Alain, don't be crazy. Hong's an expert at Kung Fu. <laughs> if you're afraid, I'll go and fight him along. I'm not afraid of dying if I have to. Alain! Don't stop him. He's my brother. I can't just stand by and see him get killed. But you can't. Go and get all the men ready. Put them on alert. the two of you. I can handle you too easily. Ting Kong Lang, you dare betray me? Bastard Hung, you murdered our father in cold blood. Now you're gonna pay for it. Mm -hmm. So you're the 
sons of Tin Yi Fei. That's right. All right. I'm going to finish you both off today. Go to hell! not improved since then like yours has. Because of my Gung Fu, I've been promoted to a very high position. Shameless bastard. You running dog. To each his own, but I will make you eat those words. Uncle, let's all kill him together. If you don't go, you won't be able to take revenge later. All right, let's go. I'm late, sir. Half of them. Yes.
practice our kung fu. Right. I have been summoned to the capital to see the king, to discuss how to kill the rebels. Congratulations, that, that is good, good news. Hmm. If we succeed in putting the rebels down, I will be promoted again. When are you gonna leave for the capital? Hmm. Well, I would like to go to the temple first and say my prayers. It's an important journey. Kung Fu is very skillful. Even Uncle Han can't beat him. Uh, must be he has a secret. He uses a finger fist. It's hard to fight him. Doesn't he have any weak place? Yes. He has developed a habit when he's jumping up of turning left. On his hand, he's turned right and he's left exposed. Oh, the left hand? but the right fingers. <laughs> them to me. Ha! 
is too tricky. He's an old fox. We have to practice hard. Think of a way to get him. But you're not healed yet. I can't worry about that. I have no time left. Sun and moon fighters have dared to offend me and tried to kill me. You ordered us to come here. We're honored to be asked to fight for you. We will look after them. Hmm. That's right. We can handle these rebels. It'll be no problem at all. I don't think they're going to be any match for us at all. Right. I'll start on my journey to see the king. Move in the troops. Kill the rebels. King Sam. Yes, sir. Get ready. I go tomorrow. Sir. What do we do? We've not thought of a way to defeat him. No time left now. One of us will have to give up his life. Brother. Alan. Go. Thank <laughs> you. 
He fought well, and he died for his country. Come on, get up. You must continue your brother's work helping our country. Hong Kong Sam was killed. The secret name list was safe, and the people were stirred into rebellion against their tyrannical rulers. The Qing Dynasty was not destined to last long.